Hey man, me and my man Jabari, man. Watching this Hitman shit right here, this shit crazy. So right now it's live. It's live, we live right here. My man Young C on the way to New York. Y'all yeah. know who that is, it's Young Chris. Yeah. Tell them, tell, them, tell them where we at, man. Tell them what we doing. Well, we, we just left Cherry Hill Mall right now. We on our way up top to the city, you know. Yeah. Got a meeting today, man. What kind man. of prices they came with? Building. And See what's going on with my situation. Yes, sir. Hopefully everything turn out right. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to get back at it. The That's fans good. is waiting. See, I've been dropping bombs mm -hmm. lately. You know, taking mm -hmm. my time with it, though. I got a million of them. Exactly. I told you, man, the, the, the computer's loaded. Oh, Studios loaded, the lab, the, the little hand laptops loaded, all that. Mm -hmm. I'm ready though, man. But right now, we just ride and lay back. I've been working for about, uh, since 05, you know what I mean? Well, I ain't since know Brothers from Another. Like let you since know. we dropped that ticket hit, I've been working on a solo project ever since. I mean, I probably mm -hmm. turned in about three, four albums. No exaggeration. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's probably all it is. I just stay at it though, man. I ain't gonna never stop. What keeps exactly. you going, man? What keeps you exactly. going? Cause daughter, the streets I'm living in. Of course, that paper. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My family. Now you my from family, the hood, but you're not the hood. I gotta provide. <laughs> you know, I can't start and stop. Yeah. Well, I just I can't you know, work at no McDonald's right now. Throw it out there. Uh, can't get no regular jobs. I gotta get it from this. What you want to do for Philly, man? It's a that's lot of, it's it a lot of, that's a lot of the, the homicide numbers are crazy yeah, in Philly know. right now, that's man. Bullshit. Yeah, it's real wild, you know. Like I always say, if I get a yeah, chance, you can. Well, when I get yeah. a chance, and not just that, all those who do feel like they got to do what I've been doing as far as the, far as the, uh, the leagues, because motherfuckers definitely going to basketball the leagues, the, the little, the little league football teams, right. you know, the, the cookouts in the community. It's almost like a community service wow. without without catching the case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do it because do it I love them, because I love the kids. It's for the future, though. It's sad to say, though, a lot of the killers yeah. come from the young young boys, though. Nah, that's true. That's very you know what I mean? That's no guidance. You know what I mean? You know how it is. No mom, no pop. I'm living with a gun. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. Shit, that's all they see. That's all they know. You know, hopefully clean it up, man. Help clean it up. Like we were speaking about earlier, shout out to Tip. Just the things he's doing right now, speaking to the, to the kids yeah, and the communities. Yeah. Um, just, be, just be a better speaker for him. Chris, I ain't never asked you, man. Who, uh, who you look up to, man? Who's your musical influences? Uh, shit, let me tell you this, though. I didn't start till I was 15 before mm -hmm. I answered that question. 14, 15, when I met Neef. Okay. You know, in middle school, he was already doing his thing. He originally from West Philly. He moved up to Nice Town, North where I'm from, went to start going to the same middle school. And, um, shit, we was at his crib one day. He pulled out a pen and a pad and started writing. And he gave me and my man one from down my way. We started our first couple bars off, probably the first two or four. I kept my shit going. I kept the rap going. Right. And I started spitting, you know what I'm saying? I spit it for him, he was liking that shit. I started spitting it for everybody around the way. Barbershops, beauty salons, all that type of shit. School, most definitely. After that, I just, you know what I mean? Kept it going. I wasn't never really into the rap shit, is what I'm trying to say, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Until I met him. My history is shitty. Hood <laughs> fab, I would never win. That show they got. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I don't be knowing that shit, man. So, you know, but around the time when that shit popped off, you know, the Bigs, the Pox, of course, my man Jay, they was the niggas at the time. So that's what it was, basically. That's who I was fucking with. Special A used to be my favorite rapper back in the day. What? <laughs> I got it made. Oh, man. <laughs> I ran into him. I ran into him. Yeah, he was cool as shit, though. Yeah, he was cool. He was a smooth motherfucker. I ran into him at a radio station, too, a little while ago. Man, Crack. Shout out to Crack. Bro. Crack was fucking with him, too. Yeah, but you know, man. We're gonna keep this thing coming, man. We're gonna keep it cracked. We're gonna run around this office. Shout out to Sav. Shout out to my man, Steve-O. You know, see what's new. 
Cause I've been stupid, man. I don't know what's going on. I'm out here. Going into the city to get busy. Chris, man, how you like New York, man? Love it. City is city of big dreams, man. New York cats. I like it for business, though. Yeah. So be here for it now. Love Philly more. I'll let you boy. Thank you.